Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach. One take, please, one take. I don't know how Perch can do three videos of like this a day because obviously you look, you got to get a bunch of tabs ready and like just editing can add another hour or two. So one take, please. So this is about the uh, Warren Ellis situation and about how the most prominent people castigating him were in on it. They were not surprised. They knew they actively participated in his forums, and now they're trying to rewrite history. But before we start, Rock and Roll Ninja graphic novel. It's actually the only uh, um, campaign I have available to buy. So um, we're going to talk about uh, the uh, Warren Ellis Forum, although there was multiple forums. He had the Warren Ellis Forum. He had uh, the Source, Whitechapel. He would basically shut one down for whatever reason, then start another one uh, up. But it's been about 10 years since he's had one. And it was a major thing back in the day. So much so that in 2018, uh, Image Comics did a whole, you know, PBS biography uh, about it. And there's something very, very interesting. So we're going to see uh, the participants. <laughs> and it's a bunch of writers. Kieran Gillen, Kelly Sue DeConnick, Matt Fraction, Chip Zdarsky, Sam Humphreys. Hi, what? Uh, no, I'm wait, huh? Christabella Brett, what? So it's a bunch of comic book writers and a journalist. Heidi McDonald, editor in chief of Comic Speed. Comic Speed has been the number one. It's kind of funny. Uh, Rich Johnston has been relatively mild about um, <clears throat> this stuff with Warren Ellis. Uh, if you read the articles, they're not very incendiary. He's just kind of reporting on things. Heidi has been on the war path. Uh, and uh, to help uh, uh, bring him low. And it's very, very interesting because she was in all of this. She's the only non-writer uh, questioned in this, uh, you know, uh, glowing retrospective of it. And it's right here. Kieran Gillen says, the rules of the forum. Warren ran it, and his nickname was Stalin. He ran it, and his filthy assistants, they rule it. That's what the women... Moderators were known as the filthy assistants. Uh, so it's a very long article. Um, uh, Image took it down. What are their weasel words? Um, Due to new information about Warren Ellis and the Warren Ellis Forum coming to light, we have made the decision to take down our previously posted web version. Uh, during this time, we feel it is an incomplete retrospective on the forum, and we encourage fans to seek more information about the forum's history. Again, I want to emphasize there were, there were actually three different forums, uh, but um, this is pretty much it. It's it's uh, a woman pretending to carve Warren's name into her chest. Uh, and here's uh, Heidi McDonald. Goodbye, Engine. Uh, Perch did a very, very good video about this. Um, and, uh, so it's Heidi, a journalist who is supposed to be objective, was participating in the same forums she's trying to destroy Warren for using. And it's very clear in this article from 2007 that she had a very, very different view of the victims. Um, from where we sit, the engine was a mixed success. While there was much useful information and intelligent discussion, it was constantly competing with threads full of Ellisites posting silly pictures of, themse of themselves, such as the above, and the number of exhibitionist young women who professed themselves surprised at the level of interest in naked pictures of themselves quickly became cloying, then annoying. So in 2007, Heidi was very, very aware of this kind of groupy uh, subculture of Warren's forums. Oh, that rhymes unintentionally. Uh, and she did not see the women as victims, but rather as annoying thoughts. And you can read the article. It's uh, It was a little hard to find. Um, if I remember, I'll put the uh, link in there. But that was the, the common refrain was it was an interesting place. It was a pretty wild place. But there were these groupies and it got worse as time went on. Uh, the the uh, image article, it goes on forever. But uh, this is where it gets something very, very interesting. So it talks about, you know, couples like Matt Fraction and Kelly Sue DeConnick. You know, they met on there. Chip Zdarsky, like, 
a decade before I started writing comics. He, it, Chip Zdarsky is not his real name. He created it as a profile name. Um, and then now that's his professional name. Uh, Warren Ellis uh, basically created the you know careers of all these people. They met, they networked, and they, you know, they uh, launched from this site. And not a single one of them defended Warren. They all turned on him like a cur dog. And Heidi McDonald led the charge. And again, a journalist is supposed to be objective. You're supposed to have an objective distance. Actively participating in a forum. Uh, it's it's going to take me forever to search this. But uh, Heidi was talking about, she's like, not only was she there, but she felt she was there too much. Um, the other thing, interesting thing is you kind of see where it comes from. So Chris Sabella uh, started about, uh, you know, having a rough time there because he couldn't take jokes. Warren Ellis was very acidic uh, with the men uh, and he would get his feelings hurt. And then this shit happened. So here's him, you know, talking about doing the interview. Here's him uh, a few months later uh, talking about being very, very excited that Warren Ellis uh, is uh, probably the most terrifying thing is sending Warren Ellis my comics and hoping he doesn't completely despise them. Occasionally he doesn't, and it's never not completely bizarre to me. So he's talking about how he got a, uh, uh, recommendation on his book, uh, from Warren Ellis that he put on the cover. And then, uh, when the news comes out last year, uh, so many of us thinking about the me of before, who used to say comic community without rolling my eyes, or making that jerk-off motion, or both at the same time. What a dummy. Eventually, you gotta eject out into your own curated community, or you're lining up to co-sign a lot of shitty people and behavior. And then the latest, uh, this uh, just acidic take, the very online man coincidentally just discovered the website all about him after receiving lots of pushback about his return to comics is the least plausible fiction Ellis has ever written. So the situation we get, and Kelly Sue DeConnick last year, you know, uh, made two videos about how very, very disappointed in Warren she was. Warren had, and you can read this whole thing. This this one's easy to find, although you have to go to the, the Wayback Machine. So I'll put the links for both of these. Um, but they talk about that the atmosphere was very, very well known. It was very caustic. Uh, it was very acidic. It was this weird kind of uh, thing where the women were the mods, but the women would also kind of try to outgroupy each other. Um, and uh, then when he got into some trouble, 20 years later, <laughs> all these people whose careers he launched turned on him. And the worst of all was the one who shouldn't have been in the mix at all. If you were a journalist, you should not be hanging out on a foreign and, you know, buddying up and kissing ass and following these weird arcane rules uh, he put out there uh, on the forum. If I try to go through this whole article, it will uh, it will take forever. So let's just see if I can get some of the quotes from uh, from Heidi. It was heavily moderated. That is absolutely 100% the key to why people remember it as being a wonderful place. Warren was essentially inventing how people build their brands online. Uh, just talking about, this is kind of boring stuff, but um, the other very important thing about the Warren Ellis Forum was just that there were women there. It wasn't equal. She's talking about the amount of people there. But women were very common and were allowed to speak. And I remember there was even a special thread that was just for women. Men could read it and, like, I would go in there and post about makeup, you know? I totally respect Warren for standing up for all these things and for being, you know, a messiah. I think he kind of enjoyed the attention he got as a messiah on the internet. But it's very hard to do that and he walked away from it. But I think he took it seriously. He wasn't just doing it for attention. He really believed in it, too. That was very inspiring to me. Talking about when the foreign went away. It was sad. We all wanted it to go on and on and on. But Warren was smarter than we. You know, it was our taste of how you can't have nice things on the Internet. There's not a place that's open where you can just wander in and listen to all these people talking about stuff and venting. I mean, I'm sure there was some bad stuff that I've forgotten and I've blanked it in my mind, but in my memory, 
It was a wonderful paradise of the internet when the world was young. And there was one other quote about, she was saying that she was there probably even too much, but I can't seem to find that one right now. Maybe that was in a different uh, page. But uh, I just found it kind of shocking. Uh, the lack of loyalty, the lack of humanity, the viciousness. Uh, I think this one is actually, even though he's trying to distance himself, it's it's quite, uh, you should, this whole comics community is is a lie. One of the ways they tried to get people in line over the last few years is they say, oh, you don't want to be ostracized. You don't want to be kicked out of the comics community because we look out for each other. No, you don't. <laughs> you absolutely <laughs> do not. You're as corrupt as the day is long. You have no loyalty to anyone. You will participate in destroying a man's life just so you don't have two days of heat from Twitter psychos. And the journalists are not journalists. They're completely corrupt. Heidi's saying that Warren Ellis' place was a wonderful place. She said, you know, the source was nice if it wasn't for all these attention-seeking thoughts. And then 10, you know, 14 years later, she's like, oh my gosh, it was such a hellscape. Please think of the victims. So I have a question about this mediation uh, for the women extorting uh, Warren. Are they allowed to drive cars? Because they're not responsible for their own actions. They can't be trusted to associate with people who they, you know, they willingly associate. So are they allowed to drive cars? You know, can they own property? Can they vote? Because we've established they have no responsibility and they can be hypnotized. So, all right. So I got through one take. Try not to jinx it. Rock and Roll Ninja available now. Thanks for watching. Bye.